Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at building websites or web apps using ASP.NET Core MVC inside of Visual Studio 2022. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get into it then. MVC is a design pattern used to decouple user interface, which is the view, data, which is the model, and the application logic, which is the controller. So this pattern helps to achieve separation of concerns. So using the MVC, which is model view controller pattern for websites, requests are routed to the controller that is responsible for working with the model to perform actions or retrieve data. The controller chooses the view to display and provides it with a model. So the view renders the final page based on the data in the model. So enough of all the talking, let's get to the real stuff. So as you can see on the screen, I've got Visual Studio Installer opened. So to get us started, yeah, we've got to make sure that we've got um, web development stack or workload installed on our, on, on our Visual Studio. So to do that, yeah, open the Visual Studio Installer and click on the modify. So here on the workloads here, yeah, we have to make sure that we have this box, the first one, ASP.NET and web development check. So this will actually help you build web applications using ASP.NET Core, ASP.NET, HTML, JavaScript, and containers, including Docker, et cetera. So to get us started, make sure you check on this box here, yeah? download and install it before we come on to the next page. So if that's not the case then, Let's close the Visual Studio installer and let's open a Visual Studio. So as you can see, yeah, I've already got uh, the create a new project dialog open. So if you if you follow that first step in terms of installing the workload, then let's scroll down and find, or we can search it here, but let's scroll down here yeah, and find the ASP.NET call. So ASP.NET Core, I'm just going to pause it while I look for it there. So as you can see, I have it here. So this ASP.NET Core Web Apps, that model view controller making the MVC. So this is a project template for creating ASP.NET Core application with examples. ASP.NET Core MVC views and controllers. So this template can also be used for RESTful HTTP services, like Web API and whatnot, yeah? So to get us going, let's click on this bit here and click on next. So here, obviously, you can configure your project details by giving your project a name and whatnot, but we're not going to look too much into that. So we click on the next again. So here, obviously, you can select what framework or what .NET framework that you want to use. So we're going to leave it as it is, the LTS or long-term step support .NET um, 6.0. And here, obviously, you can also to configure for HTTPS, but we're going to uncheck the box since this is just a very simple video that we're trying to make, yeah? So we will leave this box unchecked, yeah? And we will continue. To go, we will go ahead and create. So as you can see, this might take a while depending on how fast your computer is. So I'm just, as you can see, it's already, the project has already been loaded. So let's look into the folders that we've got here. So if, you, if you're used to a .NET project, then the properties wouldn't be a problem for you. So we're not going to look too much into that. We go on to the next folder, which is the WW root. So this folder actually contains the static files like CSS, JS, and libraries. So if we open it, you can see that we've got side.css. So this folder contains mostly the, the CSS files, and this contains mostly your JavaScript files. And this contains the libraries like jQuery, Bootstrap, and whatnot, yeah? So with the next, obviously, folder is the home controller. So basically, the controllers simply route requests to controller actions implement, uh, implemented as a normal C-sharp method. So the data from the request part 
query strings and request body are automatically bound to method parameters. Right, so we will come back and look into the, the home controller. But let's move on to the model or data, our data, our model and data. So this actually creates clean model classes. And from here, obviously, you can create, you can create clean model classes and easily bind them to your database. Declaratively defined validation rules using C sharp attributes, which are applied on the client and the server. Right. And then we've got the view. So let's move on to the, to the controller again. So as you can see here, now I've got the I action in there. So by default, this will be the, the this will be the starting, the starting controller, the, or this controller will be the one that will actually renders the, the view first on the startups, yeah? But to go ahead, let's go into the programs here. So this, the program.cs actually helps you, this, is the, this mostly holds the configuration of the application, right? Like this, this actually, configures the, the use traffic files, like um, what we've discussed inside the WW rules. And this is for the routing inside the, the controller. And this is for um, authorizations, basically authorizing users to what um, controller they can use. And also this, this, is, this actually helps you map the controller to the view, right? So if we actually um, go back to the con home controller and here on the index side, yeah, we actually put a break point here and we run it. Since this, this will be the, the start, we I am in mean, controller. This controller will render the main view at the home page. Yeah, so this will be the one that will be hit first. So let's look at it. So as you can see here now, we've actually got the, the index control uh, on the index action hit. So this is basically the one that is actually hit first. Right, so let's open it. So as you can see, this has already this has halted here because we've got a breakpoint here. So let's click on the continue. So as you can see here now, we've got uh, the web or the website or the web web app open or running. So if we click on the home again, we see that this the index action has been hit again. Yeah. So basically, once you click on action or, or a link inside uh, the view, it actually sent a message to the controller and then to the, to the relevant action method, right? So in this case, the action method is the index, which actually returns the view, which is the, if we go inside the view, so I've got the home view, which contains the index.h, CSHTML. So this is what actually returns. It returns this in a uh, pure HTML file, right? So if we look at it here, back inside of uh, here, so this is exactly what is actually written here. It's very simple. Learn about building web apps and whatnot, yeah? But obviously, this video is to get you started. But I will make more videos into much more details. So we can use the model to build sort of a data structure and use the action to process it and render it to the view. So basically, this video is just to help you get started. So I hope you can start building your first um, MVC website or web apps. Yeah. So once again, yeah, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do because I've got lots of videos coming up here. Yeah? And I hope this actually helped you to get started. Bye bye.